the future of YouTube car channel tunnel runs. Okay, get ready for the future. Here we go. All right, boys, guess what? We are already at the seven day countdown, the final week countdown for this dual giveaway. I told you it was gonna go by fast and it's almost gone. Right now, 20X entries is live and there won't be a bigger multiplier than that and there won't be anything else added. So in other words, if you're waiting to get in, don't. There's no point. Enter right now and lock in your chance to change your life forever. If you think it can't be you, you're wrong. Just ask our last winner, Vard. He bought a t-shirt and won a new T-Rex and 30 grand. And right now you get automatically entered for not only our GMC AT4X AEV, but our ZR2 Bison as well. You get automatically entered for both trucks and each one comes with 50 grand in cash. Check out the website right now. We got all kinds of new stuff on there. You will find something you like. And again, all it takes is one item to change your life forever. Don't wait, hit the link down below and good luck. Oh no guys, I guess it's true. I am officially an EV channel. I'm joking, I'm joking. It's only a coincidence that we have the Cybertruck upload and now the E-Ray upload in the same week. Good morning and welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm sure most of you know that ever since I started my channel way back in 2016, when I was just a wee lad. Since then, I have bought every new Corvette that has come out and I've always been excited about it, always been happy to buy the new one with the exception of the latest one and that is the E-Ray. Now, the reason why I didn't get one is because quite frankly, I think it's awful and I don't think I'll like it, but I am the Corvette guy and I feel as though I should at least try it. And with that being said, here is the E-Ray and it makes a very bizarre noise that he disables normally, but he turned on. That is weird. It is weird. Why would they make it so, it's loud. It is loud. <laughs> well, you know, I think it's some For safety? federal safety thing. Okay. And everybody just gets an increasingly more <laughs> annoying noise. A Tesla doesn't even sound like that. It has like a static, it's like <laughs> driving down the street. Dude. But this thing, it's, it's a spaceship. It, it sounded like somebody like ringing a, church bell like very <laughs> quietly. E-Ray, walk it's, us through here. Okay. Cause I know, honestly, they're not my thing. I know nothing about the E-Ray. I know it's got a battery. I need to look like Mike for this and get sunglasses. There you on. go. Yeah, pop them suckers on there. Okay. The E-Ray is not an electric Corvette. It's a hybrid, it's a right? It's a hybrid, okay. and it's a performance hybrid. Oh, it's not even, so if it's you, not even oh, for gas mileage. So if you say performance in front of it, then all of a sudden it's like cool. Yes, yeah, okay. absolutely. I see what their marketing is. Like they, they tell you, uh, uh, how much gas that you've actually saved. I've driven 700 miles. Okay. And I saved 0.7 mile per gallon. Wow. Point, not point, <laughs> 0.7 gallons. Is that really it? 700 miles, that's how much I've saved. <laughs> so it's it's a performance high rate. So it truly isn't. <laughs> it's not for gas mileage. Not for at all. the environment at all. No. Okay. No. There's no way to actually charge the front except for the car to be going. You can't plug it in. You okay. can't like, honestly, you can't, you, you can't even just idle it and charge the front battery. Okay, it's, I didn't know that. I thought you could plug it in. To charge your front battery, there's a fast charge. It just puts more power to the rear wheels down <laughs> and then regenerates it from the front. Okay. Like, what? But that's okay. how it does it. And that's how you force a regen and it, uh, it does, I mean, it's cool. It's torquey. I think you're gonna be impressed. How much power overall? And so, do you get that all the time? Okay, so GM does some stupid in their numbers. Well, naturally. Excuse my language. So this is a factory LT2 engine, which is 495 horsepower. Same exact as the Same exact regular as the Stingray. Corvette, yes. okay. Yeah, and it's, yeah, it puts around 450 to the wheels. And then the front is 160. Okay. But peak isn't exactly the same because it's two independent systems. So what GM decided to do was say, uh, 160 plus 495 is 655. Okay. Peak horsepower, but it's not, peak at no point do i feel like you're actually getting 655 peak because in the higher rpms it seems like it drops off a little bit okay i did just have it on the dyno it dynoed pretty well dynoed 500 and we'll check out his channel for that info then oh you're gonna tell us I, I, oh he's I, giving I, I he's giving us the goods right now I don't look at you to, okay i don't have to tell you that. It, did it was it forget over it, forget was it over 600 it. wheel no it was not over 600 not over 600 wheel. But okay it is only rated at 655 so, okay okay but i think that you so what you'll find is there's an awesome amount of torque in any gear. <laughs> that I kind of 
am excited for. And then uh, uh, there's a lot of gimmick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you know what? We should just go for a ride and yeah, we'll I'll do the same you. thing as the yeah. the Lambo. All right, yeah. I'm in. Okay. He has. He's had a plaid. You still have a plaid. I still have a plaid. I have two. Yeah. And many other fast cars at the shop and whatnot. So it, this is not going to be fast to him. But the thing it's about not, Lambos it's is, not about fast. yeah, they're different. They're very. Di they're different from really anything else on the road. I'm actually surprised that it goes backwards. So that it looks like it only goes forward. <laughs> we have great roads. I think you'll enjoy it. I mean, that's really it. If you want to keep it simple, we can put it in Strata and just let it go. Well, I'm it, just curious. Less aggressive. I'm just curious what Strata feels like. I don't want to burn so, up your clutches or anything. No, I mean it, it's a short drive. Like it's just not good to do it full time. But this is Strata. Until they don't bring this thing back. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this system. And there, it's not touch, by the way. Wait, well, are you serious? With this dial. Yeah, it's with this dial. What are you paying for? Even I, I don't know, honestly. I ask myself all the time. But this car did have the record on the ring, the Nurburgring. Oh, really? Even though she's old. Yeah, it's a big car, all-wheel drive. How much does it weigh? Uh, like 3,300. Okay, the e like, Ray weighs 4,000, just so you know. Wow, that's, a, that's heavy. That is heavy. So that battery adds like 400 pounds. Yeah. I was like, well, I'm not seeing my son again. <laughs> He's playing Fortnite, he'll be fine, but like... These things are ridiculous. Oh my god. That was a very light taste. Were you a little scared? I That's was good. very scared. Okay. I was really scared. <laughs> I was like, oh wow, what? This was a mistake. I was this, like, was, this was a mistake. <laughs> I didn't even get to drive the Lambo yet. Uh, you already have my seat. I did, I did. Thank you, yeah. you prepared. Yeah, let me... Uh... <laughs> Look at that. A 2024, this now has like an actual suck down. Nice, okay. It's amazing. Ooh, that's right. Hey, he does have the convertible. Look at those gears in there. Big old gears. These cars do look great with the top down. Yeah. That looks, yeah, you put the door big. back, you get the body line there. And it's a good looking car. I can't lie about that, buddy. Yeah, and then, uh, I mean, the, the top goes down and up, up to 30 miles per hour. Which is pretty cool. Yes. Yeah, I like that color. Love the wheel choice, the polished. I think it looks great. <laughs> this is the only new Corvette that I haven't bought and ordered myself. I thought, I was told that you had one on order. Well, I think Beeve, like, got me one, but I don't, it's oh, not my thing. But I might be yeah. persuaded today, I don't know. So it took me a while to figure this out. In fact, I had to have somebody else I was hanging out with YouTube it for me. Okay. Because <laughs> I mean, YouTube's like a dictionary. There, This can start up in three different modes. Okay. Uh, normal, which is, you know, your normal, like just, it, it runs. Uh, a shuttle mode that will go 15 miles per hour, never start the engine. It's just like back and Shuttle forth, mode. Battery just only. Just electric. Yeah, okay. that's what I used in, yeah, uh, that's what I used in your driveway. And then uh, there's a stealth mode, which is good for like leaving your neighborhood, and then it eventually will start up the, okay. depending on demand. You have to put your foot on the brake, twist the knob, and then this hidden menu decides wow. to come up. And let's see, stealth, we can actually use stealth right now. When it's too okay. cold, it won't use stealth. And then you'll hear the oh. uh, weird sounds. Oh, wow. Dude, there, that's weird. You'll see that there's this needle, and when it gets to there, that's your um, your startup. Okay. And all, or if the battery gets too low. Gotcha. That's weird, dude. We're in a Corvette in drive, no sound at all. It's gonna now take. Oh, I see. And now it's out of stealth mode, and that's it. Like, wow. You cannot go back into stealth. Oh, mode. it won't go back in then. Yeah. Now we're started up. Hey, you okay. the steering wheel. Something the Lamborghini doesn't have. Uh -huh. <laughs> Awfully fast. <laughs> yeah, you get that that torque hits really hard. So I like that. Here's the cool thing. That's actually pretty I, sweet. I think this is really cool. So I'm in like six gear. I'm at what twelve hundred? Yep. Maybe. Now I punch it, and the front motor, since it's independent, we still have quite a bit of torque. So it doesn't have to downshift. It's passing power. Yeah. But that's all that goes to the front. 
So in different modes. I, so I, when does that start to like drop off? When do you feel it drop off? Like 120 inch. Okay, so I have, that's pretty now healthy. I've, I've put this so you can see the electric power here and okay. the battery percentage there. You can see that I start punching it and now it's putting up 130 <laughs> or so. It's pretty cool. I mean, it, it works well. It's pretty cool overall. Yeah, there's uh, certain modes like Like the dyno mode, so you can see what kind of power you're making, or gauges like this. I gotta do a launch. How do you do launch? How do you do a launch? Okay, competitive that looks mode. Looks like an R8. Okay, now we're ready. Oh god. Okay. Yeah, man, that's that's pretty good, dude. I'm not lying, guys. That feels uh, that feels fast. So you can control. That the feels plaid like a little bit there. A little bit. Not, it just fire. dies off, but Where's like that launch? launch is brutal. A launch <laughs> Andrew's mode. fighting for his life know, with I his know. buttons over here. I know. Where is it? <laughs> There's a lap timer and stuff. Where's my launch control? I'll say that was fast. That was fun. It felt really good. Um, a brutal launch. These electric vehicles, I will say, the launches are it's not like, electric. They make you sick. These hybrid cars, like you know, Priuses, this pre -I. they make you feel real. <laughs> They make you feel sick on the launch because they're so powerful. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's oh, freaking awesome. Whoa. That actually felt awesome. That felt good. Yeah. <laughs> two seconds. Zero to 60, two seconds. There, we, there you go, guys. A little yeah, we were going a little downhill, yeah. Not really that much. Two seconds flat. Dang. All right, I, I like that. So there's another way to launch it too. Off a cliff? Uh, yep. Yeah. I'm gonna just aim a little bit first. <laughs> You're gonna aim over here. Okay, so you can do... Uh, the rev drop. Yeah, okay. <laughs> He's in my hand. Andrew said, you know what? I trust you. And uh, he's putting the car seat in the Lambo as we speak. The first time ever that car has had a car seat in it. I'm ready, bud. This is a first, man. I am very much a electric car like noob. This I rarely well, drive them. It's not an electric car. Uh, whatever, hybrid. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Barely a hybrid. I'm sorry, hybrid. Performance hybrid. Performance hybrid. Accurate. I love the marketing behind that. They're like, you know what? If we call it performance hybrid, well, it is. You're not getting nobody's going to think it's. But then it's almost like, what's the point? 160 horsepower. That's I guess, yeah. How but why not like they... strap a turbo on there then? Well, how else were they going to make an all-wheel drive Corvette? Yeah. I tried to yeah. do this. I actually <laughs> I contacted a manufacturer because there was electric <laughs> wheel hubs, like 
that I was trying to make an all-wheel drive. And you could strap them on. They wouldn't sell them to me. I will say I am really actually excited to see modifications to these. Like you're going to do turbos and oh, stuff yeah. and things and yeah, all our, that. Our CSP twin turbo kit's going on this. As soon as HP Tuners unlocks it, it's sitting there just waiting. Yeah, to go. that I'm, see, that I'm excited for because with the electric motors, the all wheel drive, like that does, that excites me a little. We're going to make the I, Zora I could before see that. GM makes the Zora. Right. That's what's going to happen. We're right. not going to call it the Zora because we'll get sued. Maybe <laughs> we'll call it the Zurich. The, uh, uh, so if you press a, just press a brake. Brake, yep. And then turn that knob. Yep. And that's going to. Which way? Like, left? Anyway. Nothing's turn, happening. That'll, hold the brake. Oh. Okay, there it is. And then now you can move. Well, you have to put your seatbelt on and close the door. Oh, my God, yeah. Andrew. Why is it so much work? Dude, I oh, broke wait. it. I broke it. <laughs> okay. Be Click. Take your foot off the, the brake. Press the button. I think you, ha you, you have it in accessory mode. Oh, okay. here we go. Here we go. Oh, this looks okay, this good. Is, no, wait, wait for it. Wait for it. Okay. okay. Now press. Now turn knob. And brake. There it is. Yes! There Stealth. Is. Okay. And then just press start. the button. Yep. Congratulations. Ooh, you are okay. now driving an electric car. Oh, so just, no. Now it's just normal. I've never Remember felt better. Thing? Here I go. Okay. See you later. Oh, it's weird. I don't like it. We interrupt this program for an important news announcement. Just imagine you buy a chicken wing keychain and it gets you. This magical chicken wing could get you a brand new hundred thousand dollar truck plus 50 grand in cash that really is all it takes if you don't like the wing we have the nugget and the fry but that's why i say people are crazy if they at least don't get something small something fun and take a shot to win we have our new bison shirt the detailing line the headlamps are back these are always a great seller because they are amazing our racing shirt trusting god not gov plus hundreds of other items that aren't on the table. Check out the website. You will find something you like and it could change your life forever. Link down below. Good luck. The car is on. The weed whacker is making more noise than the Corvette here. Hold on. Drive. So the E-Ray, here we go. <laughs> we're, we're in the E-Ray. Oh no. <laughs> and then when you get to, when the needle gets to the engine on icon you can get going pretty quick though i'm doing 30s now in full electric mode no motor is on right now you can hear this is very bizarre i mean it feels like a c8 you know it feels like any new corvette doing 40 now i guess it's really how much you're on the throttle not the actual speed but can oh oh I almost uh, tripped it there. But could you go on the highway? It looks like you can go as fast really as you want, but you can't go over like 30. Okay, now it's on. Transition complete. Yeah, it's a transition, all right. It's a transition, all right. But in the E-Ray, I like the uh, new graphics they have, all the cool stuff going on. It's not bad, and it does feel really quick. I'll say that. I like that. The fact that you punch it. Well, that didn't feel that quick. I don't know. I guess for the money, I feel like it might not be worth it. But it is, you know, something to talk about, I guess. It, it offers a little more performance. I think the ability to modify it would be very intriguing. I'd like to see, you know, a twin turbo one or something, but... It is faster. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but I wish I was more into it, you know? But I can't help it. I'm not, I'm just not that type of guy. All right, guys, let's get ready to hear the future of YouTube car channel Tunnel Runs. Okay, get ready for the future. Here we go. Yay! <laughs> That was crazy, sounded so good. I'm not an EV guy, I'm not a hybrid guy either. And I'll tell you this, I'm glad I didn't buy one because it is fun to drive for the day, you know, for a few hours, but man, I wouldn't wanna own one past, well, about a day. I think a, I think a day is enough for me. Power on, come on, here we go. Is it 
worth 120k? I don't think so because it's like a Stingray Plus. You get the base model a little bit more. It's got some, you know, party tricks you can talk about with your friends, but it's not anything drastically different. And for the same money, about about the same money, I would take a C8C because then at least you get the sound with it. You get a whole new crazy engine. You get amazing sound and uh, you get about the same speed. So for me, C8Z, but E-Ray, not bad. To be clear, not a bad car at all. Not a bad car, but expensive and not my thing. But if you like the EV stuff, the hybrid stuff, the new age tech, you might love the E-Ray. Well, I'll tell you what, the E-Ray was- I think I'm keeping this one. You'll I know keep that, that one? You know, I, I really do appreciate the offer to trade even up, but I, I think I'm just gonna keep this. It's really good you say that because we actually think the opposite. It's funny. You like the refined, quiet E-Ray. It's comfy. It's. I got out of that. I couldn't wait to get back in this. For me, it's just not my thing. Is all I can say. Fine. Be like that. That's okay. That's okay. You said you didn't like we the Lambo, and I get that. We can. Like each other. We can. I think the real value will come in when you modify it. Oh, I'm yeah. ready for that. I know. I'm gonna I'm see really that. Excited for that. That's gonna be cool. Yeah. Like for, hey, for starting at 104 and getting that that's kind of performance. That's not bad, yeah, that's not that's, bad. I think that's pretty awesome. Although, you know what? You can get a plaid for 90 and murder it. See, when you say that, it's, because if you're gonna go electric, you might as well go electric. Yeah, I mean, I... And you will, like, if you pull up to a plaid I, in that, you're gonna get annihilated. Yeah, at least I can be like, I don't care, I have the sound. At least I can say, but you can't say that now because you're, you do have the electric stuff. So I can say that. Yeah, I, well, I can say that it's like, the Plaid is like my big brother. It's like what they should have made the E-Ray, they should have had an all wheel drive, thousand horsepower electric car. And maybe they will. And that would have. In a couple of years. And then smoke this thing. I'm so proud of my car that's way more expensive and has more <laughs> cylinders and I can't believe it won. That's crazy, yeah. but yeah. No, Cool car. Look, look, Congrats. Look, looking at, uh, you know, them, looking at them like just, they're both beautiful cars. This is just more eye catching. Like the color, the, the body style, the lines is just, it's, this is a mean machine. She is. Just needs that refinement. And then, then we get, and the, then, the and then it would be ruined. Yeah. No, it'd be great. It'd be great. <laughs> like dual clutch. You got, you could really use. No, one. you, I want to feel like I'm getting smacked in the back of the face. <laughs> Now, did you go in like sport mode and all that stuff? Yeah, I did. I mode? did your Z mode, all that. Did you, I tried you launched it. it. Yeah, I launched it. It felt good. Good. Spun a little bit. Um, it was. You, it you it is a fun car, no doubt. Like really goes. It'll it'll put down <laughs> lines. It's, yeah, it did. I was on a bridge and I got squirrely. It was uh, it was cool. It was cool. Should I check for damage? <laughs> yeah, check for damage. I might have crashed it. All right, guys. Well, as usual, when I have a big upload, and I could have made this an hour, I had so much footage from that day. Uh, whenever I have a big upload, I always forget, because I'm focused on everything else, I forget to film an outro. So here I am, once again, in the garage filming an outro. But hope you all enjoyed. Uh, yeah, the future, Cybertrucks, E-Rays, they are like, fun in their own way, but I really fear the future. Actually, I do. I'm not making a joke like, um, and I know it's far away until those are the only vehicles out there, but it's not good. And, and the more that they're around, like they're all gonna be even more boring because they're all gonna feel the same. Like if you put a blindfold on and you get in this or this or a Porsche or a Corvette, whatever, you know it's different. If I blindfold you and put you in a Cybertruck a plaid, well, maybe a plaid, it's so fast, but any EV, they all feel the same. And that kind of, uh, you know, the E-Ray felt like the Cybertruck, besides the little noise it makes that's different, but they all feel the same. And that's gonna suck. But let me know what you think in the comments. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, give this upload a big thumbs up. Take care and have a great night.